I'm planning to paint uh, Yosemite's half dome in this, uh, but I'm trying to paint all my paintings uh, more like a woodcut looking. So the woodcut has a very distinct look, which is hard to mimic in, you know, through brushes. But since I'm doing big ones, I should be able to at least have a feel of it. And that's going to be the goal. And here I want to paint half dome today, but it's not going to be that one fixed scene of half tone, maybe half tone from several different angles. And I want to show more detailed image of woodcut. So wood, woodcut is actually, this is cut on a thick wood with very sharp tools and different gouges and um, V-shaped, U-shaped gouges. Here I'm trying to create uh, the Yosemite's half dome. So I'm planning to have half dome around here, but this is actually the valley you see up from half dome. So the perspective wise is not going to be uh, anywhere same, but that's not the goal. I want to create like a, the feel of that Yosemite feel, uh, which is more important than actually making everything accurate. Uh, so right now, it almost looks everything abstract, but slowly it'll come along. I'm trying to kind of develop a feel, so. So this area, I want to create that. Oh, it looks like I don't have enough color. I hope I can get enough here. Oh. Instead of just, br I use brass and combination of everything, but 
mostly enjoy using a roller a lot because you, the kind of effect you can get from mixing with it, you cannot get solely from brass. So I'm gonna create this space for half dome. Oh, I realize I'm, I've been saying half dome for all this time and and those of you who are not from the United States, you may not know what half dome is. Half dome is uh, one of the peaks in Yosemite National Park. It's one of the most famous, it's a very steep uh, peak and a lot of people, it's a, like a solid rock and people try to climb and, and it's really beautiful. The view is really beautiful and it's just kind of, has some kind of spiritual feel to it. And uh, I'm trying to, instead of just trying to, you know, take a photo, but I'm trying to create that magical experience most people have when they go to Yosemite. Now I'm getting to my own meditative state. When I do this, at this point, I don't know what I'm doing, but I know if I focus, Slowly, I'll be able to create the thing I want to. But I don't know how, but it'll come if I focus. And this is the kind of time I really like uh, because it's, I don't know everything, how it's going to. Okay, yes. Coming along, da 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 da. I remember, uh, you know, some artists are so resistant to technology or anything new, new thing, that they become almost like an enemy of art. I remember that happening during when digital started appearing in photography, and all the older photographers who were really good at, you know, developing their own thing, processing, and they were all like really mad and they hated it. But, but one thing is change is always going to come. Technology is not going to stop. And, uh, and it, 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 the history repeats again and again. It happens like it's been happening all the time and it will happen again. All the so-called artists are becomes the like enemy of art. And I see that with a lot of traditional artists, a lot of, uh, you know, who don't. I don't do abstract painting, but I'm not against abstract or, or you know, any anything. Like, there's so, so many things happening, digital art, uh, even some, you know, in the future there may be even art where you won't even paint or do anything, just your thought that you're going to record or something that becomes a piece of art. Mm -hmm. 